The way the Cavs are playing defense, we've talked about it. Um, is it a gimmick thing because they got three guys that are seven footers, or can these seven footers actually play defense? <laughs> Which of it? <laughs> It's a little bit of both. I would say it's a little bit of a gimmick. If you look at the beginning of the year, Dave, I think a lot of people looked at the Cavs roster and you said, the whole league's playing small ball and you're going to roll out three seven-footers in your starting lineup? That just doesn't make sense. Well, it does make sense. Now we're seeing why it makes sense because even if teams are playing small ball, you still are going to miss a lot of those threes. You're still going to need somebody in there to rebound, and you're still going to need to drive to the basket. Even if you're just dishing it off for another three, the Cavs' length has really disrupted that. And obviously, huge credit to general manager Kobe Bryant, as well as J.B. Bickerstaff has just been fantastic. And the way to tell a good coach is that the Cavs competed in all those games where they didn't have Mobley and were missing some of the and, – and obviously didn't have Sexton – and we're missing Love and Markinen and some of their other key pieces, uh, and they, and yet they still made a game out of all those. They they lost most of them, but they still made a game, and they still made other teams work. And a lot of that is the scheme uh, from the coach. A lot of that is the players believing and relating to the coach and trusting the coach. And really, that's what an NBA coach is. And uh, J.P. Bickerstaff has done a magnificent job. We talked about Evan Mobley being front runner for rookie of the year. Well, you've, I think you need to talk about J.B. Bickerstaff being an early NBA coach of the year candidate uh, just because not only is the team doing better when Mobley's in there or when Garland's in there or when Allen's in there, it's they're doing better from one to 12 in terms of the players on the roster. He is getting the most out of everybody on the roster. Another thing that's impressive, they're very young as well. So uh, points to J.B. Bickerstaff.